Hey guys, in this video, we will be looking at how we go about adding functionality to delete records from our application. The objective of this video is to ensure that we have a button beside our view and edit buttons that says delete and on click, it will proceed to remove whatever row was selected. Now, the first change I'm going to make is in my view records.php page, where I'm going to add another link which will go under my actions column. So I'm just going to duplicate my edit button and then I'm going to change the text to say delete. And I'm also going to change it to BT and danger, which should give me a red button. All right. And then for my href, I will have delete.php. So after making that change and refreshing, I now see that I have a red button and recall that all of them are printing out the attendee ID for that row based on the iteration of that while loop. So each of them would have the same ID value at the end. The only difference is that they're navigating to different pages. Now we can see that we have a spam record here, record number nine. This person, this, this is not a person as far as this information would indicate. So this is my target row for this operation. By the end of this video, I should be able to press delete and remove this row from the records. So since our button is targeting a page called delete PHP, we do what we have learned to do by now and go ahead and create a new file, call it delete.php. And then in this file, we'll, we'll just copy the most essential things which are really just the require for the DB connection. So really and truly, there are two ways to handle delete. Some people actually do a prompt. Some people navigate to a page showing all the details of the record you're about to delete and then ask you once again if you're sure you want to delete. And some people, once you click delete, then that they just run the command and refresh the page and the deletion would have happened. So we're going to take that third option and I challenge you to put in functionality that would actually have delete load a page that shows all the details of the record about to be deleted and then have another button that once it's clicked, it will actually action that delete. Hint on how you would get that done is to use a form um, because on submit, you could go to a post page where you actually get the ID and proceed to delete. But for now, I am just going to proceed with a simple method where I'm just going to have my PHP block and I'm going to require my connection to the database. And then I'm going to check if the get variable exists. So if it doesn't exist, remember we check for the negative. So that's actually a coding pattern where you check for the negative first, take some action and the action I'm going to take on moment, I mixed up my braces here. The action I'm going to take if the ID, sorry, if ID doesn't exist in the get parameter, I'm just going to print error. And remember that this is going to be part of our final touches where we're going to create some construct that is more consistent with the error message that we don't have to keep on typing it over and over. But otherwise, uh, if it does exist, so that's else, then I'm going to get that ID value and place it inside of a variable called ID. Then what would be nice is to call the CRUD function that will remove the record and then redirect to our list. So I added some comments here so that as we put in the code, we know exactly what's happening. But the, the point is that when it hits this page, we just want to get the ID, run the code to delete it from the database and then redirect once that operation was successful. So we need a function in our CRUD up in our CRUD class that handles deleting. So we have insert, we have edit, and we have some gets. So underneath the gets, I'm going to put the delete. So I'm just going to write up the public function delete attendee. And this function is taking a parameter called ID. And we will basically be doing very, very similar things. So once again, you'll see that all the patterns kind of repeat themselves. So we are declaring an SQL statement where we're going to say delete from, and the table name is attendee, where attendee underscore ID is equal to our placeholder ID. 
after we write up our SQL statement, you know that we need to prepare it. So I'm just going to copy that, copy and paste. So I don't have to retype. And then I'm going to do the same with the binding of the ID parameter. So most of those things were done in our, in our get attendee details, right? So these top three, well, these two, in addition to the execute, and then we can return a result, all right? So, well, we didn't, we didn't declare results. So we really don't even need to return anything at that point. Well, we could just return true. So once again, it's always a good idea to have our try catch. So I haven't been very consistent with that, but in our finishing touches, we will definitely tighten up on those things. But for now, I'll just say try and do all of what we just outlined just now. And then once that is done, we return true. And then I'm just going to borrow the catch phrase from another function. And we want to carry out the same operation to catch any error that may occur in between while we're returning false. So then I can say back on my delete page that we want to call our CRUD object. Well, we want to assign the result, the outcome, of our function call to the delete attendee function in our CRUD object. So I it, we pass in the ID parameter as we got it from the get. And then we say, if result, then we redirect. So redirection is header and we open and close parentheses and then inside of this we put a text which has location colon and view records dot php because we want to redirect to our list of records so if if result was successful then we want to do that else we want to print that generic error message all right so let us try this operation. The point once again is that once it hits this page, it's going to connect to the database, get the, well, check if there's a value coming over in the query string. If not, then it's going to print an error. And then we're going to say, if there is a value, we want that value. Then we want to call the delete function. And then we want to redirect to view records once that's done. So it would almost be transparent to the user to delete and the page should refresh to um, after this operation happens rather quickly. So we can just go back over here and we just do a quick refresh and then we're targeting this row. So let's see if our code works and we press delete and I have a spelling error here. So I'm going to go back into my CRUD function and I have attendee with one T in my SQL statement. So that was the error. So I'm going to try again and notice how the URL looks. It says delete PHP ID is nine, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to start over. So I'm clicking delete and there we go. It's removed. So it didn't prompt. It didn't show the details of the record. Once again, that's like the simplest, quickest way to delete a record. And of course, deletes are not reversible. So if we wanted to at least put in a prompt, because sometimes users may misclick the thing they're clicking edit and click delete, but we don't want to just remove it upon an accidental click. We can actually just use JavaScript and insert a quick prompt into the page. Well, when it's clicked, there will be a prompt, a default prompt to you know confirm the click action. So back in our code, back in the view records, page, I'm going to edit the anchor tag for the delete, and I'm going to add a JavaScript function called onClick. And the value that will be assigned to this will be return and then confirm. So this is a JavaScript function called confirm, where you actually pass in some text here that would be like a prompt. So it be something like, are you sure you want to delete this? record all right so the expectation is that when they click this link they are going to be prompted through some default javascript so this is almost built into the browser right so it may look different from browser to browser but the fact is that 
on click it will show the confirmation prompt are you sure you want to delete this record and it won't go any further until they click ok if they click cancel then the operation is the, the click operation is cancelled so it would not navigate to the next page all right so we can test that i'm going to refresh after making that change and then i'm going to accidentally click delete beside mary poppins and look at that it's asking are you sure you want to delete this record so i can always cancel and cancel the operation and if i click ok then mary's record would be deleted and ironically deleting records is pretty much the easiest and the quickest thing you can do and recovering from it is probably the most tedious and time consuming procedure but that's it for this video and that is how you go about completing your CRUD operations we did create we did read we did update and this one is delete